What's good, man? It's your boy Wise, man. Shout out all the Kane fans out there, man. Salute to y'all. Um, you know, I want to shout out Rick Bear, uh, Rick and Swag, all about the U83, man, college football vids, uh, Alonzo1219, the U family. Pardon me, hold on. Yeah, I'm at work, y'all, but I want to just go ahead and make this video, man. Um, you know, definitely appreciate all the comments and everything. I'm always down to talk Canes football. We're going to get into this um, Georgia Tech Miami preview. Um, just keep it simple, man. I looked at Georgia Tech, Georgia Tech's game tape. Um, I've watched our last two games over and over. Um, we do have some key injuries that are really going to make a difference. I thought I would never, you know, be saying this, but D. Delaney is probably the biggest injury that we have. Um, you know, he caught the pick last game. He's had some busts in coverage a lot, but overall, he's tackled really well. And not only just him tackling, though, like, he's not – he can, you know, beat the blocks. So, you know, you're not going to be able to get around the corner on him, and he's out. So, you know, we got um, Bandit that will be in there for sure. I'm pretty sure he'll get a lot of burn. Um, you know, Michael Jackson, which is supposedly our best tackler. Excuse me. Uh, Malik Young will obviously be in there. I think Malik might be a problem in this game. He's not really good with fighting off blocks. Um, so we'll just see how he does. Javante Dean, he showed, you know, some some good things coverage-wise, and he came up and made a couple of sticks. I don't know if he can actually fight off blocks consistently, but I did see him, you know, get in there in the action. I think that was the Duke game, maybe, that he was in there. Um as far as safety, man, I hope they start Amari Carter. That would be the only realistic start, in my opinion. I think Knowles will, you know, get a lot of burn. Um, Romeo Finley will actually end up getting, you know, some PT. But I think they need to start Amari Carter, man. Um, he tackles the best out of all the safeties that we have, maybe outside of Jaquan Johnson. But he's our best tackler. I think that he'll, you know, come up and make some big hits. But I think that he'll stay disciplined and know his assignment. I think Robert Knowles is going to have a hard time making sure he has the guy that he's supposed to have because, you know, we saw him last game with some assignment issues. He was the reason that one of the touchdowns was given up for sure. And in the second TD, it was between him and Delaney. Not really sure because Pinckney was in man coverage. And them two were, like, playing a zone or whatever. But um, I'm looking for Bandy to have a big game. But Jaquan Johnson is going to have to lead the secondary back there. Um, He's definitely going to have to lead it. He had 12 tackles, I think, but in the Florida State game. So, you know, definitely expecting him to make a lot of tackles. Um I hope he don't take the wrong angles, but, you know, in the Florida State game, he did a pretty good job of taking, you know, enough right angles. Um, Donaldson being out is also big, um, but I think our biggest problem, man, because Georgia Tech does have a pretty good pass rush this year. I think our biggest problem is fixing the, um, the Tyree St. Louis problem, man. Like, we got to get that dude out of the fucking game or – or something got to give because he was atrocious against Florida State. You know, like he really almost blew the whole game, you know what I'm saying, himself or whatever. So, um, you know, we'll see. But um, what else? What else? You know, I want to see how Travis Homer going to do. Um, I'm expecting him to have a big game. Um, and by big game, I mean I think he'll have at least 100 yards. Um, I'm expecting Gray, you know what I'm saying, to, to do do some nice things against Tech, um, especially running up the middle. So I think we should have about 250 rushing yards as a team. Excuse me. That's not too much off from the average we've been having 
I know Mark Walton's a big loss, but I think Travis Homer is more than capable. Um, that guy has skill, and he's a north and south guy. He's not doing any dancing. He going to get that ball, hit the hole, and just get in there, get five, six, seven yards, and, you know, just call it a day, man. So, you know, I definitely think we'll be fine with that. Um, Armand Richards being banged up, I don't know if it's that big of a deal since we're playing tech. It's more so about Malik making the right plays. But playing Georgia Tech, Malik doesn't have the room to be inconsistent. We are going to get at least three to six less drives than we would get in a normal game due to the fact that they average about 37 minutes a game on, you know, possession. You know, so we have to make the most of every opportunity we get. So we can't afford hot and cold Malik. Malik just has to be good all game. I don't need him to be the Malik from the first quarter of Duke. I don't need him to be the Malik from the first quarter and the first half of Florida State. I need Malik to just be consistent. If he plays how he played in the second half of the Florida State game, for the most part, we'll be fine. Um, we can't afford that stupid throw this game, Malik. So I know you're good for one pick a game. You know, you're going to make a stupid throw, rather if they catch it or drop it. We can't afford any of those this week, this week because our possessions will be limited. Um, I think Jeff Thomas starting. Well, I'm not sure if he's going to start, but um, playing a lot I think will be important. Um, obviously, I think Langham will be starting on one side. Harley on one. Barrios in the slot, but they were talking as if Jeff Thomas might start on the outside. I'm not really sure, but I think he'll make a lot of plays this game. I think um, DJ Dallas um, ends up being really effective because if you put him in the backfield at running back, you can always end up go to an empty set, spread about wide. He actually can really run routes. Now you're putting a linebacker in position to guard a really a receiver. You know, so he can really be uh, a matchup nightmare. You know, same thing they did with Jeff Thomas last game, the Florida State game, for like two of the plays, they put Jeff Thomas at running back. So if they put Jeff Thomas in at running back and you got another back on that side, if you split him out, I mean, him on a linebacker, that's a touchdown. If he gets the ball to get in space, Park wants to let go. But um, I think the main thing with this game, man, is really the defense. If the defense does what they're supposed to do, we won't even really have to worry about Malik. But I just don't know if they're going to do their jobs. Um, in the comments, I know some of y'all mentioned if I could post the tape, you know, the game tape of the missed assignments. No, but... Um, I wanted to, but I just haven't had the time. But I know on the big run by Patrick, um, Pinckney and Quarterman collapsed and gave up like a 40-yard run. On the big run by Cam Akers, if you pay attention, um, McLeod is the one that missed that tackle. He tried to big hit Cam Akers instead of wrapping up, and he missed a tackle. Um, the D-line still hasn't played a complete game, so we need the complete game from the D-line. We need the linebackers on their assignments. The DNs have to stop trying to bull rush or stop trying to rush up field so much. You know, they're losing contain, and that's one of the main reasons that these big running lanes are taking place. We're just not disciplined right now. We're not playing as a disciplined team, man. You know, with Georgia Tech, if you don't play discipline, you're going to lose. This is literally assignment football. Know your man and do your job. That's it. It's nothing fancy. You already know what they're doing. Know your man, do your job, and make the tackle. No big hits, just wrap up. Georgia Tech has a tendency to fumble a lot. It's just the nature of their offense. They going to turn the ball over. So we have a good chance, you know, to force some turnovers. They only throw it like eight or nine times a game. Um... Quarterback is inaccurate, throwing deep. Excuse me. But the stat sheet said they throw it eight or nine times. But when they played against North Carolina, they threw it more than that. It's just that the quarterback got sacked a lot or ended up running. So that don't show up in the stat sheet on an attempt. 
but actual passing plays, they do more than eight a game. So that can be a little misleading. So they're probably going to run about 15 pass plays total, 15 of 16, you know, the whole day, which is a lot for them. Um, I've seen their offensive line. They gave up three sacks to North Carolina in the first quarter. Um, so when they throw, we definitely had an opportunity to get, you know what I'm saying, get after them or whatever, man. Um, you know, Malik, do your job. Travis Homer's going to have a good game. I think Jeff Thomas um, – might have a breakout game. We also got to make sure that we get Chris Herndon involved. It's going to be real important for Malik to get Herndon involved. You know, um, as that safety net between him and Berrios. And he should be good, man. Get Michael Irvin Jr. in the game. I don't even think he played in the Florida State game. I'm not really sure what was up with that. But, you know, definitely get him some more plays. Um, I need Quarterman and Pinkney to step up. That game Pinkney had at Duke, I need another one of those, something similar. I need Quarterman to step up. McLeod has regressed. He looks like shit so far this year, just overall. Um, I'm actually for starting Darian Owens over there where McLeod is. He's played really well when he's been in the game. Mike Smith, that boy trash. Don't put him in, but, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking – to see maybe a, a, a lineup change or something to give Owens more time because McLeod has not been that guy. Um, Pinkney, you've had a big game already this year. I need Shaq Quarterman to step up, man. Um, and coaching. Coaching's going to be big, man. We've been great at second half adjustment so far this year, and it's going to need to continue because if it don't, it's going to be a problem, you know, but Manny Diaz, this is a simple game. I don't need to see zone blitzes and all of these crazy coverages and crazy blitzes you try to do. This is a simple game, boss. This is not blitz central. This is assignment football, and you need to understand that more than the players do. Other than that, man, I think Mark Rick, they end up calling a good game. He knows how to call, you know, against, you know, Tech or whatever. Um, we're back home finally. I definitely will do, you know, the review. Sorry for the late preview. But I'm going to go ahead and say that I have the Canes beating Georgia Tech 35-14. to 14. I think the score should be somewhere up in there. I think we beat them by three touchdowns for sure. If we don't play assignment football, though, and we don't have our assignments, it's going to be a long day, and we could possibly lose this game, just being real. If they don't do what they're supposed to do, we definitely can lose this game. You know, they want to talk about the only losses against Tennessee, but if you look at who Tech played, they haven't played anybody. Their competition has been trash, including Tennessee. So... I don't really look at who they play because they ain't playing nobody. Um, they played North Carolina. They're having a terrible year. They beat Pitt. They're having a terrible year. They played some FCS team. Trash. And then they lost to Tennessee. Tennessee is garbage this year. You know what I'm saying? Like, their defense gave up 40-something to Tennessee. So, we should be able to put up at least 35 without Mark Walling. And without Art Meyer Richards, honestly. But, you know, we'll see how everything goes, man. Definitely do the review. You know, man, they averaging like 400 rushing yards a game, I think. Might be close to 500 if I'm not mistaken, but we'll see, man. They've given their offensive line, have given up a lot of tackles for loss and sacks. So, you know, just make them big plays. Ready to see that turnover chain come out at least twice. At least twice. Got to. Got to, man. But anyway, definitely do the review. Or whatever, man. We'll chop it up, man. Y'all leave y'all comments, man. Appreciate the love.